I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Billy. Billy? A name I have not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asked that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It would be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Nottingham. It'll be good to see Vili again. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Skull! Come, raise a cup! Make sure and the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. Off looking for a fight? I should have known. Yes, Vili's sword always finds its way into trouble sooner or later. Not a bad way to live. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Himingarial is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased a skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. Travel fast, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ready the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. I remember when Vili and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve him in Ayala. Is it a tale worth telling? It is, but a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. God had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family incurred... Odin, take you! Shred my sheepskin! That man is Eivor the Wolfkist! Eivor! Hail! 
We have not laid eyes on you. The Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heminger Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. It warned me to hear Willis' name again. In coming to England, I thought I had left the best of Norway behind. Uh, he often thinks on the old country as well. Seems to think his life was simpler then. Uh, it may be he is right. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebar. Should any picked escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You are not slurring, Willy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? It has been too long, Vili Hemmingson. Yet here you are, back with the old clan. That is what matters most. For all times, then. And new alike. Fight, Hemmingersons! Bring victory today, for tomorrow we feast! Heroes, may they burn with flame unbridled! The big chief hides behind his men like a cow. The big chief hides behind his men like a cow. This place is heavily guarded. I will have his head for him, y'all. The chief will make a stand in the tower. There, the chief.
You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Hemminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. Love my son all the more, but he lacks the trust of our Danes, and I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Willy who summoned me, or you, Hemminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Tlikvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. I have known Vili since we were small. He's bold and courageous, and your warriors love the man. The nobles should choose him. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. You are come ride with me to the falls they are freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands all right but if i don't faint at the sight of them you have oversold the view you fight with impressive skill i should say i taught you well i think you taught me to fight empty air Vili, and trees and snowdrifts and the like no, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who has had one too many blows on the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast, I'll have you remember. It is good to ride with you again, Arstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. 
Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Starvenger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. Dragon's tail it was then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stoneber, was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go! <laughs> Eivor! What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Thank you. Move! Move! Get to safety! My parents are trapped! Help me! And help them! Save my wife, please! Leave me be! Me, my wife, save her for Oh, my dear Hilda, why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Forgive me. Eivor, Eivor, where are you? Get over here. There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Billy, where are you? Answer me. We need to clear a path! I will get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman! If I will have to wait, you are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank to your father! Hold on to me. I can get you out. <laughs> oh, thank you, Billy. Thank you. 
I draw a breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Willy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doomfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future. Yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Willie myself. You found my secret ort. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. But look at my father. A battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Willy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us. But that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. For I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come fast! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Himmler 
Jarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Oh dear, Helen. Our Jarl. He'll soon join our forefathers. Eivor. long past makes me feel young again hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior a form a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse I had many good teachers Heming Ayal. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh. From your mother's womb, I watched you grow. A dirty-haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become. <laughs> and I am proud, proud of what you will become, no matter I, uh, I, I, uh. Father, Willie. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Oh. A worthy pyre for him and her y'all. The new to threat the to Eivor. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Gurjan. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trikve. I pledged my life's oath to Heminger Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. 
This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the Shire to see. You've done well, Trigve. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. This is an outrage! Festive. Too festive, and too soon. Fires, fights, and every man soaked in mead. Ugh, this has gone too far. Hemthorpe could burn before the pyres lit. Gods, have I failed, my dear Jarl? Peace, Trickvi. I'll do what I can to calm things. Mindy, that were a rat. What madness is this? You dare wash our beloved Hemingir with your filth! I asked you a question, friend. There's a Saxon within. One stupid enough to try sending Hemingir to heaven over Valhalla. Now he cowers behind a locked door! I only did right by his immortal soul! You will get what is right for you! Calm yourselves, all of you. I'll speak with him, unmask his true intentions. People are quite upset. Leave me be! I did nothing wrong! You should walk out of here, on your own, before you cannot walk at all. Yes, yes, I'll walk, I'll walk. Don't hurt me, please! There's a key there. If you open the door, I... I will follow you out. Oh my god! You've got the key! Use it! Get that stain out here now! You pay for your wrongs, desecrator! Enough. Let him speak to explain himself. I loved Heminger. I swear. I only want him to fly free in the kingdom of God. So you drench his body with your filth waters? Is it your Christian holy water? Of course. I anointed him in the name of the Lord.
Heminger was never one to weep over a bit of rain. Neither should you. He insulted our noble dead! Heminger would laugh at the very idea. What is this voda you speak of? A gift without price, fit for a Jarl's lips. But hurry, it catches flame. Help! Fire! Save my voda, it burns! Help! Fire! Save my voda, it burns! If this is your voda, I managed to save it from the licking flames. You dared Surtur's heat, yes! A most potent drink, distilled from grain by the roots of Kiev. Dip your horn and have a drink. A bit of drink in the belly never hurt. Watch yourself. The voda sneaks up on you quick. Fighting roosters? Dragons with mighty claws! Save me from their wrath! Thank you, mighty Thor. You've saved my life. When you sober up, steer clear of roosters. The order seems to have been restored. Now to trick me, to let him know. <laughs> I have calmed the guests as much as they can be in their grief. They mourn. It is to be expected. Still, thank you. And how do you feel, old friend? I mourn more deeply than most, I think. Heming, I would be proud of what you have accomplished here. All you have done for him. I hope so. This ache will pass, Trikvi. With time. Yes, it will. And here, from the Raven Clan. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur, something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkethorp? She lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield.
The exile must value his solitude living in a hole such as this. A difficult man to find. Uh. Heming Ayal is dead. Mm. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Ayal. The stones. Heming Ayal possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? Steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Yes, Heminger's heart was as steady as it was large. You have not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? Remember him. By his determination to keep his clan safe and his people celebrated. The mark of vague Visir. Sights never lost. <laughs> Is this your decision? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers... did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. Heminger would be pleased with our gift. I wonder if Vili has found his spear. With Heminger Yard gone, can Vili hold the reins? Will he guide us through? You are the wolf-kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. 
Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jotun, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriat with ale and open arms. Do you have the gift of foresight, Seer? Can you all go what is to come? I see what need be seen, when it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Heminger Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trigvi, there is no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. Jarl, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. 
Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. is blunted by indecision. You late warriors now. Never waver. You did, Heming Ayal. You did. And that is why my words should land true. Trust your judgment. You pushed me, Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Sefor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Did you consult the Volva? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Tryggvi in the high seat. Eivor, Tryggvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl, old as I am? This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. 
I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trigvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trikvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! This is no small decision, Trikvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Pigs were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase! Arsh stick! You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pigs. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. His rage has consumed him, Eivor. All this anger, this sadness, it has truly taken form. Our stake was never one to temper his emotions. This was bound to happen. I should have been more vigilant. Do not blame yourself, Drenkur. He always had me to watch his back, as children. And again now, if this rampage is what he needs to rid himself of the sick that binds him, I will at least make sure he does not hurt himself. <laughs> Thank Odin he has the mighty wolf kissed as his shadow. Here are things we do for family, Suniva. No questions asked. For you, I would have done the same. For any of Raven Clan. We know, Drengur. That is why we are sworn to you. Here, Eivor. This was where Ville saw the scout killed and then charged after the enemy ahead. Must be careful now.
Oddly enough, so have I. That sound. Is it thunder? Footsteps. We need to fall back. Follow me. Quickly! Just like when we were children getting into trouble and getting away. I saw it's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. <sighs> when my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. But I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable, no matter how glorious it may be? Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? And me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you, and that will not change, unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced arstic. <laughs> a chicken draugr! Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun, even. Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly. And often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Like this. I cannot say how I will feel tomorrow, Eivor. 
Shut up, Billy. Billy, you know that, that this was momentary heat, just a flickering flame. Yes. We let our passion set sail just this once. I should get back. Rest. The funeral will still be there when you wake up fully. Billy, gone already. To prepare for the funeral, I imagine. So many Danes, so many Norse. This will be the send-off Heminger deserves. All the funeral preparations are in order. Eivor, my father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. In council, you were the wisest. At the hearth, the kindest. In battle, the bravest. May the sign of Vegavisir, the rune of the way, guide you to the hall of many doors. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Heminger son. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity, his spirit. In you I see his life and his love of drink. God, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again. Give him a fine farewell. Sunua, ride to Hemthorpe and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat.
have they given their Jarl a fine farewell? They have. None drink so well and so deeply as Clan Hemminger's son. The declaration of succession must happen soon, before we are too drunk and exhausted to remember our names. I agree. Call on those who must attend. The Alding will begin shortly. Eivor! You look... uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in need. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Yardum. You stand side by side, Vili. One of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? I see a Dringer before me, a man who yearns for the glory of battle. Trigve should be Jal, and you, you should follow your own path, wherever it may lead. Off a cliff and into the ocean, if that is what you need. <laughs> you know how to ruin a good moment, Wolfgist. Some time ago you asked about living with us, as one of our war band. Is that something you still want? To raid with you and Bragi? Gods, yes. Imagine the blood and mead we would spill. For all time, son, and new alike. Watch the look on the old man's face when he hears what we have planned. I stand before you as Willy Hemminger's son. But not as a Jarl. There is only one man with the needed honor and wisdom. Only one man my father deemed worthy of following him. Trygvi, Jarl of Snottingham. May you walk proudly in Hemminger's path. What is this? Old friend, you deserve this. And so much more. Be proud. My future is elsewhere, Trigvi. I will go with Eivor to live and fight beside the Raven Clan. I... I do not know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Vili. Eivor. Well done, Arstic. Until my path leads me home, I serve under your banner, Eivor. Eivor, let my first decree be Hemminger's wish, an alliance between our people. When you call, we will rise. As we shall for you, Trigvial. Ramby will want to know about this. It's time I return to the settlement. Good day. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Himminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed. But his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan, and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. 
He will make a fine addition to your crew.